Hello, everybody. Welcome to Portal. This is going to be obviously a Portal Let's Play, which is a game where you use Portal Gun to travel through walls and whatever using portals. And you basically have to figure out. Basically, have to figure out different puzzles and stuff. <clears throat> anyway, let's go ahead and click new game. Start. Detention in the relaxation vault has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, My keep specimen. in mind that although fun and learning are the primary goals of all enrichment center activities, serious injuries may occur. For your own safety and the safety of others, please refrain from. Turn back. The portal will open in three, two, one. Whoa. Hey, look, I'm a female. So bad, eh? This is trippy. Anyway, I guess we just go through here. So it's taking us to the first one, I guess. Oh, it's just taking us right outside. Okay, I see. Hello, you watching me? Is anyone up there? I don't even see anyone up there. This is very eerie. Okay. Got cube. Excellent. Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. First, however, note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. For instance, the Aperture Science Weighted Storage Cube. Hmm. Okay. Aperture Labs. Okay. Trial or test one, I guess. Please place the weighted storage cube on the 1500 megawatt aperture science heavy duty super colliding super button. <laughs> super collision something button. What in the world? Okay. You just gotta wait for the portals to... That's cool. Very cool. Oh shoot, we gotta get to the button. Perfect. Please move quickly to the chamber lock as the effects of prolonged exposure to the button are not part of this test. Prolonged exposure to the button. <laughs> There's a stain here. Cool, cool. Next test. Some blue. You're doing 
Very well. Please be advised that a noticeable taste of blood is not part of any test protocol, but is an unintended side effect of the Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grip, which may, in semi-rare cases, emancipate dental fillings, crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth. Uh, um, should you tell me I could lose my teeth because of that? Okay. That uh, does not seem good. Oh, I guess we have to wait till it throws a portal right here. Very good. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. With it, you can create your own portals. These intradimensional mm -hmm. gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Do not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most <laughs> importantly, under no circumstances should you... So I can't throw it in water. All right, let me change. Turn this to alt. There we go. Can okay, you? So it doesn't seem to affect this. So can I just stand here and make myself die? Or is it just gonna like, get rid of my teeth? <laughs> I don't want to lose my teeth. I wonder if this somehow involved with Half Life. Let me let me turn. Oh, I already have that up. Okay. Turn this on and put this up a little bit. Please proceed to the chamber lock. Mind the gap. Okay. It's pretty easy. If I can look at myself. Am um, I got some Hispanic chick or am I Asian? Why do I have like these leg things at the bottom of my feet? So I can jump higher. Visually, it looks like I jump high, but really, I, it don't looks like I jumped that high. It does not look like I jumped that high. Okay, so I have to go through there. Okay, simple enough. Well done. Remember, the Aperture Science Bring Your Daughter to Work Day is the perfect time to have her tested. Have her tested? So you test, this is all a test for people. Kind of test. Hello. Welcome to test chamber four. You're doing quite well. I try. It's clearly we needed some sort of block. Okay. Oh wait, I should be able to come down here. Oh, it's laggy. Take this. Drop it through there. Oof. Okay. That was easy enough. Once again, excellent work. As part of our required test protocol, we will not monitor the next test chamber. Oh, let me uh, edit one more setting here. I'm going to turn this to the low. You will be entirely on your own. Good luck. Oh, you're not going to be with me? Well, that's sad.
Okay, that's probably gonna be the last we're doing for today. Hello. Let's get one up there. Okay, so we have to put the portal up here somehow. Or we can go through here. And then put one up there and then walk like that. Genius. But then where's the other block I had down here? There we go, I can reach it. Very simple, nice and easy. Nice part of The required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber, was an outright fabrication. Good job. As part of a required test protocol, what? we will stop enhancing the truth in three, two... What the hell is going on? Oh. Hello. Can't run yet. You know, we got time for one more. Okay, then we got Our safety is one of many enrichment center goals. The aperture science high energy pellet seen to the left of the chamber can and has caused permanent disabilities such as vaporization. Please be careful. Okay. So I guess we want it up there. Unbelievable. You, subject oh, name here, must be the pride of subject one down here. You don't even know my name. Oh, that's creepy. Sorry, I'm doing some research. I'm seeing how how many um, chest chambers are there in here. There's a total of 20. All right. Well, that's probably going to be it for today's episode. Warning devices are required on all mobile equipment. However, alarms and flashing hazard lights have been found to agitate the high energy pellet and have therefore been disabled for your safety. Okay. Well, we're gonna figure this puzzle out here later. Hope you guys enjoyed this first episode of Portal, Portal 1. And uh, we'll continue the story in the next episode. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, have a good day guys.